How's this? What? How's this shopping center I've just stumbled across walking from uh, Phnom Pen BTS? I've just stumbled across this place, uh, M Market. M. Just down the road from M, M uh, Quartier. We found this M Market. It's amazing. Oh, the aircon in here is ridiculous. I really needed it. I just had a look at my phone. I've walked 11 kilometers this morning. But uh, yeah, this place has got everything you want, including uh, including a ridiculous aircon. So good. But yeah. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try this um, this honey toast one day. I see it everywhere now. Oh, steak pies, roasts. Lasagna. Everything's not too expensive either. It's uh, and you got your gourmet shopping market in here as well. Oh, my favourite. My favourite. Phnom Pok. I've actually gone this whole trip without having one, which is ridiculous. But, uh, I'm not sure if I want to stop for something to eat. Should, should. Those big noodles. Oh. It does smell good. It does smell fucking good. Oh, that one's winning. The braised beef noodles. Is winning. That's awesome. Oh, we got our little sandwiches. Sandwich cold bar. 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 Sandwich Ramen. Shake Shack, no way, come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Get out of town. No can shake that. is wicked. Have a go at it, is it? Have a go at it.
Oh yeah, we're back in the market again. That's a that's a full lap. It's a full lap. I'm just done. What do we want to do? Here? Toast. So kick back over. Do we want to have a look what's on the second level or? Fuck, we're here, aren't we? Oh, I've got my feet are starting to pack it in. There she is again. A lot of potential Mrs. Stufflers around here, that's for sure. What a great little place to come and cool down for a bit. Let's uh, get out. Is there a bar up here? I can't have a beer, can I? Can I? He's new there for a second. Got excited. All right, yeah, then uh, upstairs looks like there's shops. All right, yep. Oh, is it? Shops or more food? This might be my new favorite What's shopping that? mall in, uh, in Bangkok. I think we've got a new champion. Yeah, I think we do. Once again, Thailand. I love to go over the top. All right, let's wait for these people to clear out of the way. But this is this is just a sport. Like in comparison to like Terminal 21 and uh, M48 down the road, this is small. But look at this. <laughs> what? On the full like Japanese Osaka kind of theme. <laughs> so good, so good. And Shake Shack's upstairs as well. <laughs> ah, how good. Oh. Yep. Oh, even the Colonel's here.
decided I'm gonna I'm gonna eat something and then uh, go for a one hour foot massage and then find a sports bar to watch the footy. Come on. It's a bit sus. <laughs> what? Don't do it, stuff. Don't do it. Do it. about who can who can tell me what this butter bear is about but she's very popular butter bear what is it oh it's donuts yeah, right. must be must be good donuts butter bear it's going off who can tell me about butter bear leave a comment I know nothing about it but it's very popular This shopping centre's got a Shake Shack, famous American burger, milkshake chain. And I just ordered their smallest burger. There it is there. Looks pretty good. And a original lemonade, which is really nice. Anyway, give this burger a try. Never had Shake Shack before. There we goes. First bite, first impressions. Hang on, let me have one more. You know what it tastes like? The meat, the meat's pretty fresh. It smells good. Pretty well seasoned. Maybe a bit more salt and pepper, but it's alright. I'm not going to add anything to it. They've got a assortment of different sauces and salt and pepper and all sorts of stuff over there. Massive on the condiments. <coughs> I'm not going to, I'm just going to eat it as. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a, a hamburger you'd make at home. You know when you go over to your mate's house and your mate's wife makes you, you know, like burgers when you're hungover? That's exactly what it tastes like. Real fresh, real nice. The bun's beautiful. Real soft. Like real buttery bun. Beautiful. Exactly like a homemade burger. Mm. The burger scale one to ten. Ten being the you know the the best burger you've ever had. Uh, this would be about a seven. Uh, well done. Shake shake. Now uh, we'll give it a seven point five. Shake Shack. Here in Bangkok. Who knew? Love it. Here we are. Bangkok, Sugarbit Road. That way.
pretty normal. Lots of Thai people, good restaurants, awesome shopping malls. This way. Gangs or big groups of young Indian men. Not so young. Down this way for one reason. We all know what it is. We don't need to talk about it. So down that way, about one kilometer walk, 800 meters, is about Asok, Sukhumvi Road, head that way, Phnom Penh, uh, Tonglo, Tonglo. That way, about two kilometers, but just jump on the BTS there. You buy a $150, $150, 150 baht uh, ticket. You just scan it, you get trains till midnight. So from midnight to midnight, uh, free BTS for 150 baht. It's a no-brainer. Look, we're gonna we're gonna walk this way into the dark into the dark side. I probably gonna have to put the camera away every now and again just because of the random lady boys and massage ladies. They're not they're not big fans of the camera in their face. You also come across uh, random African right, fellas what? offering you drugs down here. But this is uh, where are we? Soy. Yeah, soy 20. It is, and then yeah, you got all these little little bars and massage places along here. I actually used to stay. I used to stay at the next soy over, um, but after after COVID, they shut my hotel down, unfortunately. But we're we'll, uh, pretty sure I can head down here and then loop around. But before I do it, I'm going to look at the map. I'll be back. I'm back. I, I, I was wrong. This is a soy 22. It's a bit of a sketchy soy, actually. I actually used to eat. I used to have a beer in there and, and eat in there. They actually had good food, but looks like it's turned to shit. Post COVID, I'm. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's not on you, mate. I um. I'm gonna cross the road and spin around because I don't think there's too much too much down here without getting fucking run over. Uh, we'll go well, number one rule, don't don't walk under a ladder, especially when it's connected to walkers. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a spin out. But yeah, yeah. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second, you get these. You get these fucking cunts fucking jumping out of you. Yeah. Oh, I just brush them. I can, uh, another thing I haven't done on this trip, I haven't. Hang on. Yeah, yeah I did actually. I've been in a tuk tuk in uh, Wahin, but I, I haven't been in a tuk tuk in Bangkok, but one of Stufflers' hot, hot tips. Fuck getting in tuk tuks in Bangkok. You just get stuck in traffic. Just get, get on these ones for these fellas on the, the motorbike taxis. They'll take you anywhere for 100 baht. Don't even worry about haggling for price. Just give them 100 baht. They'll take you anywhere you want. You know, within reason. You got all these little sketchy little soys here. Massage Central. Got your macros up here. We'll go down to this next block and then we'll, we'll spin around and we'll say hello to these massage ladies. I'll, I'll see if they let me get them on camera. I, I doubt they will, but they don't generally like it. Very rarely do they fire up and get aggressive. They kind of just will turn their heads. But I don't, I don't like doing it to them. It's not, it's not very nice. Uh, we'll just see what's on the corner here and then we'll spin around. But they good street food. Oh, strips of pork just sitting out in the sun. <laughs> it doesn't smell the best. Yeah. Anyway, we'll probably, uh, probably spin around in a second. I don't think there's much. Much more going on down there, yeah, nah, fuck it. Sort of spin around.
chicken defrosting on the main street. <laughs> ah, bag of chicken thighs just casually on the footpath there, just defrosting in the sun. <laughs> ah, that's fucking awesome. So good. You'll think about ordering the chicken next time, won't you? <laughs> Fuck, should we have a look what's down that little soy there, or? We can't be far. It looks more of a nighttime thing, actually. Yeah, nah, fuck that. My feet are killing me. I don't even know why. Worry, I we'll go wall past these massage ladies, and then I'm going to get a fucking um, motorbike taxi back to my soy, I think. If you're wondering what this clip is on my hat, it's for my uh, Insta Go 360. I've been walking around the streets of Bangkok. Look at these fucking rubbish cunts. There's just packs of them, eh? They just, they just fucking loiter around the streets. Just staring at you. <laughs> How good is this? Actually stand it on the wires. That is awesome. Whew. Hello, I'm Nah, you're good mate. Let's have a look what's up here. Kiki. Looks like it's had its day and they've probably moved on to that new um, Soy 7 bar complex I'd say. I did hear that all the all the bar complex girls around here all moved to the, the new there's a new beer bar complex on Soy 7. You want to have a game of pool and listen to a bit of music, play some games with the girls. Apparently Soy 7's the go. If you're into that thing. Let's, uh, let's have a look up. Let's have a look up here. Fucking hell. Oh, well, I can't put the camera down there, they'll fire up at me. Yeah. Buddy Garb. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, soy, soy 22. Point it that way, point it that way. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, soy 22. <laughs> you got a cat on your shoulder, mate. <laughs> you know you got a cat on your shoulder? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he doesn't like the camera. Oh, oh, cute. What's that? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. this
that I took to, I would have been stuck in that traffic for about the next 20 minutes, moving nowhere. That restaurant's awesome. I can remember that. Soy 14, the, on the corner of Soy 14, that, that orange restaurant, that orange restaurant on the corner up there is fucking awesome. Just had myself a one, nearly one and a half hour foot massage, 350 baht. Feel brand new now. Starbucks over here in Bangkok. Shitload. That's not cloud either, that's smog. Welcome to downtown Bangkok. Just about hitting soy 12. We'll be jumping off shortly. If you look down some of these soys. Even this area here, like, um, th this is quite cool. This is like little Korea town here on, on my left. Really cool to go for, go at night time for a, for a meal. Gets packed with, uh, Local Thai teenagers, they love it. They love the uh, Korean food. And yeah. Right, just about here, Soy 10. Sukhumvit Road. The infamous Sukhumvit Road. That was close. Tuk -tuk for you. See, that's what happens. It'll be, it'll be like 20 minutes behind me by the time I get to where I want to go because they don't move. Whereas you get these motorbike taxi fellas.
coming up to Soy Nana. The famous Nana Plaza is on our right over here. And uh, we're just about to get in the thick of it. sports bar over there but the food shit it's called the game food's rubbish got a hamburger there a few years ago and uh, I watched a, a full-size cockroach just crawl out of my hamburger I'd had about three bites out of it so I've never been back they still made me pay for the fucking hamburger so they got a real good Google review Soy 6 here, we're coming up to Soy 7 now. You'll, you'll see him weave his magic. This bike's next level. You want me to walk over? Driver, yeah, man. up. So it's happens just over the road, so I did him a favour, save him fucking weaving around through there to the next um next fucking uh, crossover. I just said fuck, I'll um I'll climb over here for you. He fucking loved it. You see these these are old as fuck, but they they hook into the um the BTS system there. They're fucking geniuses over here. The way everything's set up, so if you don't want to walk on the on the sidewalk, all these BTS stations have walking platforms all the way along at the uh, major intersections. So where you've got all your shopping centres and business business districts alike, you don't have to walk on the sidewalks. You can just jump on these uh, BTS. I don't know, elevated sidewalks are awesome. And then yeah, down there, uh, soy, soy 4 down that way, famous Nana Plaza. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna head up this way. A bit of a quick squeeze down here, the, the new beer complex on Soy 7. So mad took, took that one. Come on, brother. Yeah, you got these new beer complexes down here on Soy 7. So there you go. Just get off the, I just crossed the road here, but you, you get off the Nana Plaza BTS, just head straight down, straight onto Soy 7, and you got all this new, new bar, new bar, new bar complex. So it's a bit early, I don't think much is gonna be open but they all they weave in there and weave all around. Yeah. Might come back here later before I get on the plane, just have a couple of beers, but like I said, I'm gonna head to a sports bar and have a couple of cold ones and watch the footy, have a bit of a wind down. But uh they're always super friendly here. Great place to have a couple of cheap beers. You can buy the girls to drink if you want to have a few games of pool. Uh, some of them have got little aircon units, but all I'm 